Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> Trump's going to get reelected. Donald Trump's going to be the next president of the United States. If this kind of stuff that I'm reading continues to happen in American cities, Donald Trump is a shoe in for re-election, even if he's a convicted felon. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. You far too kind. You guys already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. For favor. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Come on. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay. Okay. Party people. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? I know you guys are distracted and you got yourself glued to the TV because the King of England has been diagnosed with cancer. Aww. So you got to know all the details about that. And also, it's Super Bowl weekend. So you guys are glued to ESPN and got to know all the details about the Chiefs. And all the details about the 49ers, who they're sleeping with, what they have for dinner, and all that good stuff. So, you got to distract it. So, meanwhile, while they got you over there, the Senate has a bill called the Border Reform Bill. What? All right? So, everybody's happy about that. All right? We finally got something done. We're going to get something done about the border. So, let's go through the details. It's $120 billion for border reform and half of it 60 billion of it is going to ukraine uh -huh. yep Zelensky already have two or three mansions in florida and his wife needs some more jewelry from tiffany's so we gotta give him some more money 60 billion all right unbelievable we also have 20 billion of it is going to israel okay i have no smoke about that Israel, I'm not going to say nothing about that, so it's cool. But the protesters at the White House, the pro-Hamas protesters, the pro-Palestinian protesters, they up in arms, they stumping their feet, and they want some of their money too. So $10 billion is going to them also because we need more dialogue. This is all about dialogue. We need more dialogue about this and dialogue. Ugh. So they're getting a cut. So already we're at what, 90 billion? 60, 20, 10, 90 billion out of 120. Wow. We got 5 billion going to the Red Sea no. and another five here and five there. Nothing is going towards the border. Nothing. But they framed the bill as border reform. So if anybody, any Republican that doesn't vote for it, they're going to campaign against it. So, again, if uh, Ron Paul says we're not voting for this because of Ukraine, they're going to say, Biden's going to say, see, we try to do a bill and the Republicans don't want to sign it because it got all the damn pork. They cannot do a simple bill. If you want to give Ukraine money, have a bill, $60 billion going to Ukraine, that's it. Don't add no add-ons. They can't do that. They have to do some smoke and mirrors. If you want to give Hamas $10 million, put a bill out just that alone and let us vote on it. They can't do that. They want to have, they got to murky the water and confuse everybody and reframe it as reform border bill. So, because you guys, American folks, I'll keep telling people, man, just do something about the border. Just do anything, something, anything. There you go. And if you vote against it, oh, well, you, you, you anti-Semitic. Or you don't like Palestine or whatever, whatever disagreement you have on it. And if you don't sign it and you don't vote for it, they're going to campaign against you. That's how the game is played. But we're getting tired of it, right? We have celebrities, talking heads like uh, Cardi B. 
and a five million dollar budget cut in sanitation of a budget cut in sanitation we're going to be drowning with rats we're going to be drowning in rats she did a little discuss about what's going on in new york we have charlemagne the god says this he just looks weak, and I'm not talking about physically. People want to see their president going to the mat to get what he wants. And it doesn't help that any time Biden does take a strong stand on something, his staff comes out to say he didn't mean it. And now we have Stephen A. Smith, the biggest coon in the United States. What it came down to for me is this. I see homeless folks in the streets of New York all the time that are American citizens. I damn sure see them in California. We've got poor, impoverished, starving people who were born and raised in this nation. How in the hell do we come up with a 52, $53 million pilot pro program for illegals, but folks who are here legally are born here, we don't have enough of them. Just like we could come up with billions for Ukraine. <laughs> calm down, Stephen A. Calm the fuck down, okay? You're so loud. We got it, all right? It's not an accident that the former president keeps bringing up law and order, law and order, law and order, because those are catch words. Those are the kind of things that make you go to the polls and vote out of fear. And it works. Now you're talking about Donald Trump is going to get reelected because of the fear mongering about the immigration situation. You're starting to feel the pinch now. And now you want to voice your opinion now, right? Stephen A. Smith is a bleeding heart liberal. And he even said it himself. I told y'all before, I am no Republican. I voted for one Republican in my life. That's Governor Chris Christie in New Jersey because I thought that Corzine was a disaster. I voted for Clinton. I voted for Al Gore. I voted for Barack Obama twice. I voted for Biden, despite the crime bill that incarcerated a whole bunch of people in the 90s that looked like me. I shoved all of that aside. All of it. So, Stephen A., you voted for this. You said that you voted Republican one time. Yeah, yeah, yes. And you voted for Chris Christie, of all people. <laughs> Chris Christie, and that's your family claim, talking about you voted for Republican, and you voted for Chris Christie. Wow. Let me say this to Mayor Eric Adams, who I respect. That may be one of the dumbest things I've ever heard a politician do. You're going to travel to a country that's starving, that's desolate, that's impoverished, that's desperate to come to the United States of America. And you're going to beg them not to cross borders into the United States and end up in New York City rather than going to politicians right here in America from different states like the Abbots of the world, the DeSantis in Florida. Arizona and beyond and talking and negotiating with them? Have you lost your ever-loving mind? That makes no sense. That's about the worst plan I ever heard in my damn life. The China folks and the Indian folks, they coming here too. And they taking over. And they they not going to care about your civil rights. They're not going to pick up no Malcolm X books. They don't care about no Black History Month. They don't care about none of that, sir. So all that blood spill and all that marching you had done, you did it for them. Now they got the marching orders. Now they know how to manipulate America. They don't need you no more. They don't need you no more, sir. So yeah, you can cry yourself a river because again, it's going to keep moving on. And I don't think Donald Trump can fix this either. It's way too past. They have said there's about 10 to 20 million immigrants that have been siphoned in siphoned through in the last four years and nobody cares nobody cares about you crying Stephen A. Smith and I gotta tell you something right now if it wasn't for my daughter being there I'd be gone don't like what I'm seeing but it's not just because of migrants or illegal immigration it's because it's mayhem Folks don't know how to act. It's funny that you said that if it wasn't for your daughter, you'd been long gone by now. <laughs> you'd be long gone by now. New York is done for. But as we sit here now, 
and we watch something like this transpire, where there seems to be more rapt attention being paid to folks who are not even here illegal, illegally, nor are from this country, yet we want to turn around and ignore us. Black folks, Latinos, and beyond, who are impoverished and are in need. We know why you're doing it. Because you want that voting block. And it's funny, that's all black mayors, that's at the him. New York City. Black mayor, Chicago, black mayor, Philadelphia, black mayor, uh, uh, San Francisco. Wow. We'll go on and on. All the big cities are run by Democrats. So you cannot come out and say, it's the Republicans that did this to y'all. Can't say that. You cannot say that. It's all on you. It's all your people. You bleeding heart liberals. So take this L, sir, and shut the fuck up. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor, hit the like, hit that subscribe, see that notification bell, turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, I'll see you again. And all you bleeding heart liberals, get off my lawn.